Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet daisy flower. Now this is a beginner level pattern. So even if you're just getting started in crochet, you can give this pattern a try. Now this flower has been made with a DK weight cotton yarn in yellow and white and a 4mm crochet hook. But it's not necessary that you should use a, a DK weight yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. You can use any yarn that you have at hand. Just go with the recommended hook size. So here I have another flower here. So if you see here, it is much smaller than this one. So this flower has been especially made for a crochet baby headband. So for this uh, flower here, I have used a sport weight cotton yarn and a 3mm crochet hook. So depending on the yarn and the hook that you choose, you will either end up with a big or small flower. And uh, it's not necessary that you should be using cotton. I just had cotton in hand. That's why I used it. You can totally use acrylic yarn as well. Now, apart from this, I do have a few other tutorials, uh, crochet tutorials for the flower patterns. I'll put a playlist in the description box as well as on the i-card that is popping up. So if you're interested to see other flower patterns, you can just go through it and check. Okay, now let's get started. Now before that, before getting on to the tutorial, just a small request. If you're new to my channel and if at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button and please do consider subscribing. Now let's just get started. So for this here, we are going to start with a slip knot. So we'll make our slip knot first. So to make a slip knot, you take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X, take this loop out and pull your working yarn like this. So this here is your slip knot. I'll just attach my hook here. Now you can make the slip knot the way you like. This is how I like to make it. Okay, once you have your slip knot, we'll start with 5 chain stitch. So chain 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So here we have got our 5 chain stitch. Now what we'll do is we'll slip stitch into the very first chain stitch to make it into a circle. So slip stitch into the first chain stitch. So to make a slip stitch, insert your hook into that first stitch and pull your working yarn through both these loops here. So this will make a circle here. Okay, now we'll start the first round. So first round, we'll start with chain one. Now once you have chain one, you have to place 12 single crochet in the circle. So we are making 12 single crochet. So to make a single crochet, insert your hook into the center of a circle, pull up a loop. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. So this here is your first single crochet. We'll do that again. Insert your hook into the loop. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. So this is my second single crochet. Like this, I'll make a total of 12 single crochet for my round 1. Now when I'm doing my single crochet, I'm taking this tail end along with me. I'm putting the single crochet on top of that. So that I don't have to weave this tail end later. Okay. And when you are making a single crochet, you will see that there is not enough space to put all your uh, 12 single crochet. So what you can do is you can just uh, push your single crochet to one side so that you can get space to put all your 12 single crochet. So just uh, continue making single crochet till you have a total of 12. So I'll just make my 12 single crochet. I'll just give this a count and check if, if I have 12 or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and a chain one. So I do need one more. So there I have my 12 single crochet. Okay. Now to finish off this round one, we will have to slip stitch it into the first single crochet. Here I have a chain one. Just ignore that. Go into the first single crochet here. And then slip stitch. So just slip stitch into the first single crochet. And now you can cut your yarn here. So I'll just cut my yarn here. So that I can finish off with the center of the circle. Alright. So here this is done. Our center circle is ready. We will start with the next color. We'll start the petal part. So for that I'm going to take my white color yarn. And what I'll do is I'll start again with a slip knot. So make your slip knot first. 
and you have to attach your white color yarn to the center part so you can attach the yarn the way you like i just like to attach with a slip knot and i'm going to attach it some uh, in one of the single crochet not where i have stopped because if i start again here there will be too much of tail ends at one point and it will kind of bunch up i don't want that so i'll just uh, attach it to one of the single crochet here with a slip stitch so attach with a slip stitch like this so your white color yarn is attached now we'll start with the petal so we'll start the petal with seven chain stitch so make seven chain stitch one two three four five six and seven so here we have got our seven chain stitch we will skip the very first chain stitch and into the second stitch make a single crochet so into your second stitch make a single crochet into the next stitch make a half double crochet so for a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three so this here is my half double crochet in the next stitch i'm going to place a double crochet so for that yarn over first insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is a double crochet in the next stitch also i'm going to make a double crochet in the next stitch place a half double crochet so for half double crochet you have to yarn over and pull through all the three loops you have one stitch left so in the very last stitch make a single crochet so the last stitch we are placing a single crochet now to finish off this petal you will have to slip stitch into the next stitch so this in the center part you just place a slip stitch into the next single crochet stitch so just go ahead and make a slip stitch so pull your working yarn through both these loops okay so this will complete one petal so like this we have to make 12 more uh, sorry 11 more petals this is a 12 petal flower so this is one i'll make 11 more so i'll do that again with you so we'll start always with seven chain stitch one two sorry three four five six and seven okay so here we have our seven chain stitch skip the first chain stitch into the next stitch we'll start with a single crochet first one second okay so in the second stitch make a single crochet then place a half double crochet so here we have a half double crochet this should be followed with double crochet in the next two stitches so you have to make a double crochet in the next stitch and you have to make one more double crochet so you are putting two double crochet one double crochet in each of the stitches then make a half double crochet like this and this should be followed with a single crochet so in the very last stitch make a single crochet and then to finish this slip stitch into the next stitch so here in this stitch we are going to slip stitch to finish this petal okay so this finishes our second petal same thing we will repeat one more time so i'll just do one more with you so we'll start with seven chain stitch three four five six and seven so here i have my seven chain stitches i'll skip the first stitch into the second stitch make a single crochet in the next one make a half double crochet in the next one a double crochet again a double crochet in the next stitch then a half double crochet and in the very last stitch make a single crochet so i'll put a single crochet in the last stitch and then slip stitch into the next single crochet of the center circle so like this you can finish off the petals and i will make my 12 petals and then meet you at the end of this round 
okay so here i have finished my 12 petals so this was my very last petal i have put the last single crochet and what i'll do is i'll slip stitch into the very first stitch so where we had our first petal there i'm going to slip stitch to finish off this round as well so make your last slip stitch and then you can finish off this so i'll just cut my yarn here and that would complete the flower pattern now all you have to do is you have to hide in the loose ends so you can see that when you're doing it uh, it might just curl up so just flatten it it will lie flat now what we have to do is we'll just hide in the tails i have hidden in all the other tails i'll just hide this in with you so take your darning needle and you can hide the loose ends that are there so just go through a couple of stitches to hide in your tails when i was doing there were too many tails so i just hidden and cut it off so that i don't have to otherwise it was getting tangled a lot so that is why i just hid all the other tail ends so i'll just go through a couple more stitches now if you are planning to attach this as an applique to any of your tutorials don't cut all the yarns just keep a little bit so i'm not going to cut this off completely because i'm going to use this tail end to attach it to my work here so if you're planning to do that just keep a little bit of tail so that you can use it to attach okay so yeah that is it the daisy flower is done it's a very easy and quickly uh, quick pattern you can definitely give this try and i hope you enjoyed making this flower if you enjoyed it if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button if you're interested to see other uh, flower patterns please go ahead in the description box i have put a few links you can check that up as well uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching